Whatever he want me to do. Amen. 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 Come on, right. To do that, I got to get rid of the rubbish. Amen. I got to get rid of the, the garbage. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all are holding on to some stuff. Yeah. Huh? Y'all 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 don't have to admit it, you're holding on to some stuff. Amen. You need to turn that over Amen. to the Lord. Amen. So some of us are struggling with self-confidence. Huh? And, and we, we need something to, to pep us up. So, so 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 some of us eat too much. Some of us drink stuff that gives us courage. Some of us smoke stuff that gives us courage. We need to turn that over to the Lord. That's just stop it. So some, some of us, some of us uh, try to gamble to have a better future. You, you can't win a better future. God has given you your future. You need to reach out and grab it. If you're going to the casino or playing blackjack or whatever we play ain't going to ensure your future. What it does is keep you in the past. The reason you gambling because you can't get by from day to day. Oh, I know we lie and tell ourselves I just enjoy it. You don't enjoy losing. You don't go there to lose. If you did, you wouldn't be playing for money. You go there trying to win. You trying to win because you want more than what you have. Now let me tell you, I'm satisfied with what God gives me. I'm satisfied with what he gives me alone. And, and I try to use that to the best of my ability so that he'll see that I'm a good steward. And if I'm a good steward, he's going to give me more. And if I get more, then I, I'll get more because if I use that right. Some of us are holding on to some garbage. Some of us cannot, cannot feel the love of God because we can't love one another. Some of us are holding some things out on something that folk did that you didn't even know they did it, but you heard it from somebody else. And we holding that out. Amen. Some of us are still holding people to things that they did 15 years ago that God has forgiven them for that we can walk up right now. We brothers and sisters are the same family. But we can't act like we're family members. Because we're holding some stuff out on somebody. Amen. Let me tell you, when you let that go, God gives you love from within inside of you. And you can feel the love and the hate don't end in. All that other stuff becomes secondary. It's garbage. And I don't know about you, but I I, I traded my garbage for righteousness. And, and Paul says it's not that my righteousness, which comes from the law, my righteousness comes from the world. But my righteousness, Paul said, comes from Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what makes me righteous. Yes, sir. Paul said, I ain't got there yet, but I'm pressing on. I'm going to keep moving that way so that when the time come, I can inherit. Do you have something that you're holding on to? Do you have some garbage that you need to let go of? got a secret for you. You can hold on to it, but you can't take it with you. And then you cannot reach that higher call weighted down with the troubles of the past. Amen. You want to be free? Turn over that stuff to the Lord. And then walk in beauty sometimes. I hear him singing, playing that song, Silver and Gold. Silver and Gold is just not as money, it's in our stuff. Whatever, whatever we think is valuable to us becomes our silver and gold. Like whatever that we try to hold on to, that's what's valuable to us. 
Sometimes it's hatred. Sometimes it's disgust. Sometimes it's despair. Sometimes it's just you can't forgive yourself. You need to bring all the garbage to the to the altar this morning. You need to bring it and you need to leave it. And let God take care of it. We invite you to come.